the good looking part of Anthony Edwards Cummings. How are you, mate? <laughs> not bad. It's not been bad. busy. Um, James, your brother going to Godolphin, you and your dad switching stables, and I suppose Leilani's still in the family. That's what it's about. Yeah, absolutely. And look, it's an exciting time for James uh, and for, for us as a stable as well, you know, being in partnership and things are going pretty well at the moment. Uh, once we're all settled in at Leilani, I'm sure they'll really take off again. No doubt about that, mate. A few runners on Roselle on Saturday. Poetic Diva in the first. She got a mile back at, at Gosford on debut. She's an improver. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think she'll appreciate the, the step out in trip. Um, Corey goes on. I think he'll suit her quite well because she can be a little bit uh, hot-headed sometimes. He's got good hands, as, as we all know. Um, and Karen uh, really liked her run on debut. And, and I think her fi finishing sectionals were, were quite competitive for the day. So. You know, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't. Um, I would expect her to run quite a cheeky race. Talking about your brother James, this is one you've got from him, uh, Rockefeller. Uh, first mm. up for 11 months, mm. three trials. Yeah, three trials, just to try and make sure that he was really ready to go first up. Um, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of improvement to come, uh, but in terms of the race, uh, the Saturday prize money, it all sort of sets up perfectly. There's, you know, it's very rare that you see yeah. a 72 rating race on a Saturday. Uh, the 1100 will suit Rose Hills, obviously. Um, no, not far from home, so you know I think he'll run well as well. This is the one I'm really keen on. I think this is a mm. very smart horse, uh, Ferran. Uh, her debut at Gosford was outstanding. Yeah, she did a really good job. You know, uh, Tommy got off and said she was very, very raw. Um, you know, put two links on them very quickly, and, and uh, had it gone on any further, she could have put uh, even more uh, space between her and the second horse. So, look, it's it's very exciting to have a horse like that. Uh, you know, we spent a lot of time with that. Um, you know, and, and who knows, the sky's the limit. What about Life O'Brien goes around the 2,000 metre race? Just yeah. honest, consistent, just yeah. keeps going. Yeah, and I thought he was a bit unlucky there last yeah. start. You know, Josh probably just came a, a, a little wider, um, allowing the eventual winner a bit oh, more room, right. and that, that inside saloon passage. So, look, a little bit unlucky, but that's racing. Um, the, the, the important thing for him is that he sort of continues to race in a really a rich vein of form, and, and I think he'll do the same on Saturday. The best. Which one? Well, I mean, Life O'Brien on form, you'd have to, you'd have to say. Uh, firing on potential, and I think Poetic Diva can run a good race of odds. It's going to be a big day. Yeah, good luck. So. Good luck. Thanks, How, how's golf? Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you after tomorrow. I'm playing a charity, uh, charity day tomorrow. Don't bet him. Good luck. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>